With this powerful TFX fighter aircraft, Turkey is one of five countries that has this class of technology. Turkey is starting to write a new chapter in its modern military history. Turkey's original military aircraft, TIE TFX, has started taxiing tests. The TFX, which took to the track with its own engine, successfully completed the test. This advanced fighter jet was developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries and has similarities to the F-22 Raptor, although its shape is not harmonious. The Turkish government's ambitious TFX program reached another milestone by conducting the first taxi test of a stealth fighter the country has never developed. The fighter aircraft is expected to be officially launched in the coming days by Turkish Aerospace Industries DAI. The first TFX prototype had many similarities to the F-22 Raptor, although it was smaller. However, with the large, dull cockpit, and the moving fuselage and straight-line surfaces, it looks as if it was just a project design. Even so, the TFX has several characteristics that show that it is a fighter with great potential. Equipped with two engines of unknown origin, there are similarities with the F-110 turbofan. The fighter has an air intake duct that hides the first fan stage, unlike the F-35. Another eye-catching detail is the front sensor above the nose, which may contain IRST, infrared search and tracking sensor, equipment. There is also another engine at the bottom that includes the EOTS, Electro-Optical Acquisition System, Detection System. TFX has been in development for about a decade by the Turkish government, which wants to establish greater independence from foreign suppliers. This country, located in Europe and Asia, has unpredictable relations with the West, its neighbors in the Middle East, and nuclear powers Russia and China. Initially, the Turkish Air Force was supposed to receive F-35 fighters, but the purchase of Russian S-400 surface-to-air missiles prompted former U.S. President Donald Trump to withdraw Turkey from the Joint Strike Fighter Program. Apart from selling Baykar drones to Ukraine, Turkey is also Russia's interlocutor. President Tayyip Erdogan has direct ties to Vladimir Putin. Russia can supply DFX engines up to turbofans. In parallel, the United States president pressured Congress to authorize the sale of a number of F-16 Volts fighters in an effort to keep Turkey closer to the West. The Air Force really needs reinforcements as the TFX is not expected to enter service before 2030. The Turkish National Fighter Aircraft Project, initiated by the Presidency of Defense Industries SSB, and implemented by the main contractor TIE, is progressing successfully. The National Fighter Jet that fired its engine for the first time has begun taxi trials, the next stage of ground trials. Based on information from Turkish media, in the test held on Thursday, March 16, the TIE TFX started its own engine and drove onto the track. The test involves starting the engine and moving itself forward along a track for a certain distance. Turkey declared the test successful.